great ideas, uh, groundbreaking ideas. They come when people can uh, interact, relax in a nice environment. And here in Orvilla there is everything. There is peace to work, uh, there is a uh, po possibility to meet people coming from different parts of the world. As a PhD student, it was very interesting to have the opportunity to talk to people who are really the, 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 the what do you say, the big shot in the fields. So because Nandita make possible lots of different activities that they come together. I like it here. I like the sort of direct social interaction of a professor who drags you to the whiteboard and explains you everything, so to speak. I like the way that they choose how they work, how they do research, how do they organize their program, how... Uh, for me, it's very much enjoyable. I learned a lot in Nordita. When I came here, I didn't expect such a warm people and nice, kind people, because in Europe, usually, when you are new in some place, it's, uh, first you feel that, uh, I mean, it's difficult to connect with other people, but here, no, I didn't feel like that. I mean, and from the first moment, I feel that I have been here for a long time. The Nordic Institute for Theoretical Physics, Nordita, is an international centre for advanced study in theoretical physics and related areas. Nordita was founded in Copenhagen in Denmark in 1957, when Niels Bohr realised that each Nordic country by itself might be too small to create and maintain first-rate research institutes. Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway and Sweden therefore joined forces to create this international research institute. Since then, Nordita has been home to Nobel Prize winning discoveries and an important training centre for future research leaders. In 2007, Nordita moved to Stockholm in Sweden, where it's situated at the Alba Nova University Centre, just between Stockholm University and KTH, Royal Institute of Technology. It was recognised already back in the 50s that there was a lot to be gained by pooling resources to uh, bring the communities of these five countries together at, at an institute where um, they would meet, interact, uh, develop physics together. And also it was a place for them to meet and interact uh, scientists from outside the Nordic countries. Because Nordita has always been a meeting place, uh, sort of a hub for, for physics. We run what we call scientific programs where we bring in groups of scientists, experts in certain, you know, in different areas at different times. Uh, we run workshops, conferences, we have uh, visitors coming from all over the world and, and from the Nordic countries in particular. So I think we also bring a lot of benefits to them. In contrast to the usual scientific meetings that often have a packed schedule, the scientific programs at Nordita run for four to eight weeks and are specifically designed for researchers in a certain area. They get together, discuss their ideas and actively work on them. The programs are also a good way for students to get to know the open problems in a new field. PhD students in the Nordic countries can apply for fellowships to visit Nordita for one month or more. Nordita also has a long tradition of organizing schools for graduate students in different subfields of theoretical physics. Uh, of course, uh, today with all the advances in um, uh, information technology and so on, uh, you can talk to people from everywhere to everywhere, like on the phone, right, uh, with video. Um, but as a matter of fact, the, the most efficient uh, mode of communication is still face-to-face -face communication. It's just uh, irreplaceable. A number of institutes, they would work uh, on, on that particular uh, research field, which is dominated by the individual professor. Here, we can go much beyond that. We can, uh, by bringing in people from the outside, people uh, with very different expertises that are not being represented at the Institute otherwise, uh, would come together uh, and would develop research which uh, will, be, which will live, uh, give new insights to the people around us, including people at Norida. By looking at the problem upside down, you actually see different parts of the problem and how, and then after you've seen that, then you can actually use it and combine the different pieces in different ways to. Um, yeah, to get a much better understanding. So imagine you have a universe full of knowledge and um, you have a map for part of it. Uh, this is where you know what is going on and this map uh, is what science is. So and if you um, have 
um, your map of Samaria and you know what's going on in the environment, then you can build on it. And this building um, on the knowledge that we already have, that's what applied research is. But what you ultimately want to do is you want to um, expand your map into now unknown territory. You want to discover something really, really new. And this is what uh, basic research is. So there are some people who are pushing the boundaries uh, and some people are more courageous and uh, just plan uh, expeditions. And that's the type of research that we do at Nordita. For me personally, it doesn't really matter too much if it's related to the sun or to an experiment. It's just finding new things hidden behind equations, if that doesn't sound too nerdy. <laughs>